saremo il loro incubo peggiore. Hai voluto tu, Dick. Chi è il prossimo? Sei tu. The Walking Dead, dal 26 febbraio su Fox. The, the zombie is a huge and powerful metaphor. And it has changed since um, Romero's first movie. Mm -hmm. So I want to know uh, which is the meaning of zombies today in this particular moment of history? Well, the George Romero zombie lore was really a take on society. He was using zombies to illustrate some social commentary. On The Walking Dead, Zombies are much more sort of a global phenomenon in regards to how they're perceived. We don't identify individual people as, uh, like, you can't tell what they did when they were alive. I mean, once in a while we'll see a policeman, once in a while we'll see a doctor. But in the most part, they're there to illustrate this faceless mass that is absorbing and consuming the planet and our heroes are struggling to survive in and amongst that that world so the zombies really have a little bit of a different role you could say they're a character just like daryl and rick you could take them out of the equation um and it would be like removing another character from the show you just need to replace it with something else maybe it'll go from zombies to vampires who knows <laughs> no i won't do that In a particular moment, moment of history, because um, <laughs> what happened in America with the shooting, uh, do you think that maybe it was a um, an, an involuntary uh, metaphor of what is happening today to younger generation? <coughs> um, you know, I certainly feel that there's definitely some resonance to when Carl is striving to push people for peace and hoping that people will learn at some point to put their guns down and to look at what society would be like without weapons. And the fact that once this war uh, stops, he's very hopeful. I mean, The Walking Dead never really has a lot of hope in store, but that's what Carl uh, signifies. That's what he stands for. He stands for hope. He stands for the possibility of, of life existing after this prolonged conflict that they're ex uh, that they're dealing with so indeed i think that that's a strong a strong point um in regards to how it relates to present day situations we filmed this episode many months before but i still will been stand in complete agreement that there's no necessary reason for children to have guns or people to have guns so you said that Carl is, is hope represents hope yes so now hope is dead and so <coughs> not necessarily the idea his idea lives on mm -hmm. um and that's what he does when we see those flash forwards we're realizing that he's imagining what the future can be and now he's imparting that future and those visions uh to rick and to michonne and by writing those letters to everybody It's important that he's doing that. So uh, hope can survive and can live beyond um, his dreams. And listen, society has shown for years that, that it's people's dreams that can move and motivate entire cultures. Look at Martin Luther King. Look at all these people that, that uh, can rally people to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. uh, have you seen the movie Three Billboards? I have. Three letters that Woody Allison character writes to Yes, yes. Yes. That's so, that's so funny that it's funny that you would have caught that, yeah. And so it was an homage of the power of, of written word that I think is losing its power, but we we have to sustain that. Yeah, listen, I, I would agree I would agree infinitely that the power of the written word is being lost. You know, now we're in a society where people virtually don't even speak anymore. They'll just text each other. Um, when I pick up the phone and call people, they're like, why are you call it? You know, like they don't understand that that's, that human communication is a two way street and it exists that way. Uh, I think the fact that Woody Harrelson's character did write those letters, that was a powerful, 
a powerful moment. I love that movie. Uh, I worked with Martin on Seven Psychopaths, so I'm, I'm a massive fan of his work. Um, and and uh, I, I would agree 100% it, that people don't sit down and physically write letters anymore because it's just not part of who we are, and it's, it's important. And which was and or which is the best leader of the show? The best leader amongst the cast? Yes, yes. Well, you know, Andy's always always been our, our number one, you know. I mean, when new actors come onto the show, he comes to set, he meets them, he shakes their hand. Uh, anytime we're shooting a, a particularly intense scene, Andy comes to set whether he's working or not. So he's really he really helped lay the groundwork for the show and for how we respect and admire and treat each other. Mm -hmm. so. Which was for you the, the saddest moment of the entire show? The saddest moment probably when I would say it's tied between when uh, the day I find out that Scott Wilson, who plays Herschel, was going to die on the show um, or the day I had the conversation with Stephen Young about Glenn. Because I, those guys are fantastic actors, and I shot some great scenes. That, that one of the scenes that I was um, most proud of was a, a scene with Stephen and uh, Scott Wilson, and they were they were. It's when he gives when Glenn uh, when Herschel gives Glenn the watch when before he's asking Maggie to marry him and his permission. And I directed that scene, and I remember it, that the guys had such great chemistry that I didn't say cut. I usually let the camera, I like to let the camera roll a little bit longer because I don't want to abruptly end the scene. And there's a lot of times when the actors are done talking that they end up adding these beautiful little nuances. And I remember doing it with Steven and Scott, and when it was done and I cut the scene together and I said, guy, there was like 20 seconds where you guys didn't say anything to each other, but it was the way that you looked and the way that you reacted to everything that you had just said and it, and it settled. And, and it was a great moment. And I remember talking to both of the actors afterwards and they were like, thank you for, thank you for doing that because it gave us the opportunity to actually let those words settle. It was great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.